we were asked to simplify the given expression. Let's first simplify inside the parentheses. Notice how we have an x to the fifth in the numerator and an x to the third in the denominator. Because we are dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents as shown by this property here. And notice how we always take the exponent of the numerator and subtract the exponent of the denominator. And because we have a fraction, a raised to the power of n minus n would be a fraction with the denominator of one, and therefore the result will be in the numerator. So this is equal to, in the numerator we have negative four, and then x raised to the power of five minus three, divided by, we solve y to the third in the denominator. And all this is still raised to the power of negative two. x raised to the power of five minus three simplifies to x squared, which gives us negative four x squared divided by y to the third, all raised to the power of negative two. And now from here, when we have a fraction raised to a power, the power applies to both the numerator and denominator. And because we have exponents in the parentheses, we will be multiplying all the exponents inside the parentheses by negative two. However, it's important to recognize that negative four is negative four raised to the power of positive one. So now multiplying all the exponents inside the parentheses by negative two, we have negative four raised to the power of one times negative two times x raised to the power of two times negative two divided by y raised to the power of three times negative two. And I'm multiplying the exponents. We have negative four raised to the power of negative two times x raised to the power of negative four divided by y raised to the power of negative six. And now I need to rewrite this using only positive exponents. Going back to the properties, notice how if we take the reciprocal of the fraction, it changes the sign of the exponents. Or, as we discussed earlier, if we take these exponential factors and move them across the fraction bar, or in this case down to the denominator, it will change the sign of the exponents. And if we move y raised to the power of negative six across the fraction bar, in this case up to the numerator, and again it will also change the sign of the exponent. So this is equal to y raised to the power of positive six divided by, in the denominator we would have negative four raised to the power of positive two times x raised to the power of positive four. The last step is to evaluate the square of negative four, which is equal to negative four times negative four, which is equal to positive 16. The final simplified expression is y to the sixth divided by 16x to the fourth. I hope you found this helpful.